I'm out here making a fool of myself again. I got the Jim Bottomley thing going with my cap because the sun is right there in my eyes when I stand back there to play. But I'm going to try to do this in increments of five. I'm going to put five of these things in the little personal picture at a time. The first one's going to go past me before I'm ready because I'm going to put them in the fast loading side. But that, you know, seeing a strike, just kind of getting a feel for where it's throwing, that's actually a pretty good idea in a real game. But anyway, I'm using a metal bat this time, and I'm, for the first time, I'm starting to think maybe I can do some of these things uh, that we talk about with the metal bat, and that's going to be necessary for almost all of you. So I hope this works. track of one. Can't count to five. go into a bit of a crouch on these. See if I get more reliable content. Lock it up. With this metal bat, I'll explain this later, but I'm getting a lot more pop-ups than I ever used to do when I tried this with wood. And maybe one more round. Now I'm standing straight up. 
I was for that last bunch. I'm just having more luck with that. Was actually out in front of that last one. Really slow. I don't know why I can't hit out of the crouch either. I'm gonna go back and do five more out of the crouch. Those last ones out of the crouch. I seem to be almost hitting off of my back foot before I can. Well, I mean, that's because it's coming so fast. This thing is, I guess that's what gave me the delay and fire on that last round, but it comes so fast. That would have been true of any dead ball hitter. You can see shots of Ty Cobb, for instance, hitting off of his front foot, and then in another shot, he's leaning back like that. That's when the ball's really zipping in on you and it surprises you. That's what you do. You kind of hit off your back foot. And there's so much adjustability in this style. That's one of the reasons I love it. You can get surprised and you can make that. It's not even a conscious adjustment, it's just instinctive. You, don't have time to get up on the forward foot so you lean back and obviously you can still hit that way because that's the way most guys hit nowadays but nowadays they have to hit off the back foot so when they get beat by a really good fastball they're not even where they are where they have to be with the bat to make contact this way you you can still whoops I'm not going to get up on my front foot but you can still hit off the back one and and make some good contact. I was out of the crouch for some reason, especially I was hitting more grounders. I was topping the ball more, and when I stood straight up, which I actually am liking more and more, but I was hitting more pop-ups. Now some of those would have traveled a good way, and a lot of them were because I was, I'm just so close to this machine. I, Feel sure that the reaction time here, uh, I may, this may be like the Roldis Chapman. This is I'm so close to this dang thing, but uh, so I'm late on it. But I'm still. Some of those are going to be in play, and they're traveling a good bit. And I think what I'm finding is that you can use the metal bat. This is the problem is about balance. As I said in the first part of this two-part series, it, this is the trouble with any metal bat. It's going to be shorter than the old school wooden bats, and it's as light as this thing is. This is a 34, 31 ounce. As light as this is, it's still got all of its weight packed into the barrel. So you just you can't get the sense of uh, balance that you would with a wooden bat. But that doesn't mean that you can't do the the other things that we're showing. It's just I, I'm. I'm consciously really consciously having to keep this bat when I do my sh shuffle step keep it forward 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 even keep it down a little bit because when I'm ready to hit all I have to do 
is just do the bottom hand and then come down. I don't have to lift the bat up. Just keep forward, 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 and then and then that. And it's metal and it's big. And if you make that contact, uh, it's, you're going to get a low line drive or in some cases, okay, I'll take some of these fly balls that I'm getting. These, those are traveling too. I think you can, I think you can certainly do this with a metal bat.